Jesse Antibottom. Oh, yeah. You came oh, back. Yeah. You came back for this. Yeah, I, I needed this. Was this it what I came back for? Was it worth it? Oh, hell yeah. It was worth it. All, every day. Every day. Every day. Back on the floor at a happy Xfinity Center. We have all weekend to enjoy it. Coming in now is Mason. What did you see tonight? I can't tell you guys how great it feels to be home. Garden party today. Mason Maryland goes down as we wait for the post-game press conference here at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. Maryland 13, Cornell 8. The Terps are going the final four. Bruce Mason, what do you think of this? Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. You could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on capitalsportsblog.com and terptalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Hats off to our kids. It's all about them. All about them in, in Maryland, baby. Maryland! Mason, we came a long way. See an exciting game and a great play. I'm Wayne Viner. This is Connie Beach. <laughs> There's some happy people here, but I'm not one of them. From a now empty Homewood Field where they packed in about 11,000 people standing the whole way around the stadium. Maryland, 8-7, three overtimes. Bruce Pazzo, you've seen a lot of these games. You said the first game you've seen here was in 1958. Listen, that's why this game is the best rivalry in sports. It's hard to put into words. It was a great game. Your guys, they, they played. Uh, they, they showed up, they made the right plays to win the I game. I want this to be the end. It's the end here in College Park, at least for this year.